Hello everyone, uh, Beginner Fisherman here today, back with another video after having a fantastic, delicious fried breakfast cooked by Mother today. We are off fishing today. We're doing something different. We're going to be doing whip fishing. We're going to be using a whip, which I will explain when we start fishing. And it's one I used when I was a kid. So basically going back to my youth, which was uh, which is very good. So um should be fun. So next time we see you, we shall have a fish for you. We'll be back. In hey, we're on. Hey. Hey, there we go. There we go, guys. Swing her in. Hey, we're on. Way, hey. Little perch. Let's get him back. Hey, up, we're on. Right guys, so as you can see that's how the whip works. Now we're going to change setup, we're going to try my new quiver tip out on my feeder and my brand new rod rest. So let's hopefully see what we can catch. But before I do that I'll run you through my setup I was using for the pot. <clears throat> right guys, so we were using four pound mainline mono the small float either side uh, BB and a number four and then straight down to a bulk shot on number four wherever I can find it here it is a bulk a bulk shot two two number fours and then another one which was by the uh by the hook end just as a dropper but uh he fell off so um that is the rig down to a size sixteen barbless hook there we go that is the float rig we had today, but we're moving on to the feeder rig. Let's go. Oh my god, we just, just recast it there again, as you see. And we'll just wait till that tip goes around. Some knock. I'm on, I think. I think I'm on. Am I on? Yes. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a lovely roach. Just a swinger. Oh, beautiful roach. Oh, beautiful. Just nicked in the mouth there. That is a beautiful one. Ah, look at that, guys. Look at that quality. Look at this quality roach. Beautiful roach in the sunshine. I'd probably put that at about six to eight ounces. Possibly, I wouldn't say much bigger, but look at that. Beautiful roach. Hey, Dad, beautiful roach. Beautiful roach. Let's get him back, you beauty. <clears throat> right, guys, so quick update. We've had quite a few bites. I had a small, couple of small perch and a nice roach that you saw on camera. Unfortunately, the uh, camera weren't recording again. But what I'm going to do, guys, if I can drop the phone, what I'm going to do, guys, is. Ooh. Oh! They missed that one. Uh, yeah, as I was going to explain how the tip goes round, uh, it just literally went round in one, and I, yes, I missed that one. Oh. Something there took that round in one. Like I said, guys, as I was saying, I missed that bite there. I'm in this time. Oh, oh, oh. I 
in this time. Oh, I'm in this time. But he wasn't going to miss a second time, I can tell you. That, that wasn't bad, was it? Trying to sort the camera out there, was it, eh? As he will unhook in any second. There you go, he's out. Whoa. Hey, he's on the phone, he wants to get a camera. There you go, guys. Love it. Oh, I drove it the wrong way. Lovely little perch there, guys. Look at that. Let's get him back. You see, it pays me never to sort. He's not on again. I just put him back in. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I was just talking away and talking at the camera. Hang on, guys. Two seconds. We'll show you what the proper bite indication should look like. <laughs> we'll be back in a bit. Basically, as I got him in, I'm going to very, very slowly tighten up. And until you get the tip, the little locks, keep there. So you got it on a bit of an angle. So you got it on a bit of an angle. And just hold it there so you guys can see biting. But now that's a bite. That's a bite. Uh, and that's a fish on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look at that, the camera. Look at that, the camera. Little perch. Let's unhook him. And there we go, guys. A nice little, little perchy there. Nice little perch. Let's get him back. You see where it's going like that, the tip? Where I'm touching. That's, that's basically, that's a fish on. Look, damn, I just had a bite then. <laughs> Couldn't be. But there you go. That's, that's basically, that's, that's a bite. That's another bite, and then once it goes bum 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 like that, right? Well, it won't it won't make the noise going bum 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 bum, but just saying as a thing, it will go round and that's a fish on. So we'll uh, run through Dad's rig right now. Right then, guys. So Dad's using the pole today. Little whip. Five meter pole. He's been five meter pole today, and he's going to explain to you guys as beginners. You know, his rig, what he's using, once he catches his next fish. But, what would you explain to beginners for first trying out whip fishing? For, for youngsters especially. Great fun. Great fun. Especially for, for youngsters. You've got no reel to worry about. You've just got a set bit of line. You can just swing it out and swing it in. A little bit awkward here because of this tree. But, uh, yeah, they're great fun to start to learn a fish. And especially for float fishing, of yeah. course. Yeah. Most of the rigs are set up. You can buy off the shelves. And all you got to do is just put the loop over the thing, close the, the clasp up on the end of the elastic, and uh, unwind it off the, off the holder, and away you go. Can't be, can't be. Can't be easier. You can be fishing within minutes. Yep, and they're, they're not too expensive to buy, are they? Quite cheap as well. Yeah, not, not over expensive. No. No, no. no. I'm fishing with one I made up myself with a hollow vet on the bottom because it's a bit windy to hold the, to hold the, the float, float in one place, and uh, which is a little bit different. You have to make these up yourself, but they're not hard to do. No. But he'll it, it, just bring it in now and just 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 run you through. We we'll just get it to camera. He just bring it in and he'll just explain what type of float he's using here. I don't know what kind of float it is. I don't know what they call it. Just little a pole float. Little little pole float. Yeah, and that, sensible if we can get all it. There you yeah. go. Right. So he'll yes. it, it just he'll just run you through it here. He's just using a little small pole float. A few shots. What's that? No three number four bolt. Yeah, before before I used. The olivet, then I put an olivet on down close. Yeah. So keep me with a split shot to stop it sliding yep. into me, into me bait and a piece of sweet corn on a soy sixteen. There you go, guys. Can't get any easier than that.